All right, so here we are, London Animal Rights, March 2018. I don't know how many people are back there, but it looks double as big as last year. Absolutely massive. People standing for animal liberation. Look how many. A sea of vegans. Now we as a movement exist in the millions of individuals, but together we move as one. And as one, we cannot be stopped. We will not be stopped. And these industries, the ones who exploit others, they feel what we feel, and they fear it. And they fear us, and they should fear us and they fear us because they know that we will not stop fighting that we will never take a day's rest and we will never take a day's break until the animals are liberated from the shackles that our species has imprisoned them within how many more animals need to die how many more days of torture inside a lab how many more photos do you need to see what is it that you need to get angry enough? We are here today for the calves taken away from their mothers. We are here today for the hens who are exploited for their eggs. We are here today for the chickens who are exploited and murdered for their flesh. We are here today for the pigs who are locked in farrowing crates. We are here today for the lambs on the way to the slaughterhouse. And we are here today for the millions upon trillions of animals who are mercilessly dragged out of the ocean. The marine animals who are killed without any dignity or respect. Today for all the animals tortured in laboratories, for all the animals abused and tormented in zoos and circuses and aquariums. We're here today for all the animals who are plucked and sheared and skinned and murdered for their flesh, their feathers, their fur and their wool. We are here today for every single animal who is commodified, mutilated, exploited, used and murdered at the hands of our species. Good to see you again. Love you too, man. Good to see you. More animal abuse! You're doing so well, man. I'm so proud of you. More animal abuse! You've been doing non-stop. More animal abuse! More animal abuse! When every case is empty. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hey, man. We're so big fans of you. Oh, We're thanks. One month vegan. Wow. And now my parents and my brother is also vegan because of what you what, what you do. And Amazing. Yeah. That's really good. I had no clue what's going on. So what you do is that's so good. Words. Wow. Now, now you are doing it too. Yeah. What's that to do? Like uh, wait, wait, wait. You went vegan from the RTV yeah. with Piers Morgan or the other one? Yes, the original one. This morning show. Yeah, that's right. Wow. That was the first one and uh, I just looked at your stuff and then it was obvious that I had to go vegan. <laughs> they did my work for me by putting me on that show. Yeah. <laughs> and they were trying to turn us against veganism. But it didn't work. No. <laughs> the truth is more powerful than exactly. their lives. That's Any, right. Anyone who has like, logical thinking can see through the bullshit. Really. Yeah. I mean, you can look at my, pa my past and see that I used to be an arsehole or you can yeah. look at what I'm saying and see that it's the truth. Exactly. But yeah, good work, man. Love the t-shirt. Keep it up, my brother. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. Wait, so how long have you been an activist for? Wow. I'm really 
proud of you. Thank you for doing what you do for the animals. So do you, I'm sure. Thanks for marching. Of course, of course. Thank you for everything you do. No, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he's a little, little activist there. Oh my god. He's sleeping. <laughs> it's too much for him today. I've seen loads of your videos. It's definitely influenced me. And We've never met before, but I'm a big fan. Thanks, man. Uh, I really wanted a hug. Thank you. The world that we want, that vegan world, exists out there in front of us in the palm of our hands. And all we have to do is reach out and take it. It's not going to be given to us. No one is going to hand it to us, but there it exists in front of each and every one of us, waiting for us to seize it. So feel it, believe in it, see it, manifest it, but importantly, create it. Make it. Take it. The world that we want, we decide when it is created. And every time that we rise up and we stand up and we speak together and we fight for what must be fought, we bring that world closer and closer to the present day. So for the next minute, I would like complete silence, please, as we remember why we're here, the beings that we've marched for, and the reasons why we have to take to the streets. For the animals, it never ends. Every passing moment is this living, unrelenting hell for them. Because there is no excuse for their suffering. We must not turn away with our eyes what they are forced to endure with their bodies. For all of those who say you can't, we can, we will, and we are, and we will never ever stop. We must stand up and refuse to back down. We have to fight for a future where all life is free. But as long as blood is pumped through my veins and oxygen flows through my lungs, with every second of life that I am given, I will fight because my life is a privilege. And with that privilege that I have been given, I am obliged to fight for those whose freedom has been denied to. I made a vow that with every second of life that I am given, I will fight for those who need me to fight for the most. Will you stand up? Will you speak up? We defiantly walk towards the road of animal liberation. Because every single animal needs every single voice. Use yours. Because when we do so, when we fight in unison and as one, we can change the world. And we must change the world. The animals need us. They need you. So what will you do from tomorrow onwards? The path that we walk down together does not last forever. And at the end of that path is total salvation and liberation. So never look back, only ever look forward and defiantly march as fast as you can towards the end of that road to ensure those animals who are screaming in terror in this very second, to ensure that one day their screams will be silenced, not because of knives, but because of liberation. And so I ask you this one final question. Are you with me? Yeah! Thank you very much. A vegan world is coming, so bring it on. Gotta make a change. It's time for us as a people to start making some changes. And who's Joey named after? 
Joey's name last week. Oh my god. You don't. I, I, your name came from me. He doesn't care as much as I do. <laughs> <laughs>